Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your Steam Deck into an emulation monster with Emu Deck. The first thing you need to do is put a micro SD card into your Steam Deck and then go to settings and then go to system and go down to format SD card and then you need to click on format. Be warned that everything on your SD card will be wiped. For this installation I'm using a 512 gigabyte SD card and then once that's done keep hold of the power button and then this menu will pop up and then go down to switch to desktop. Now something that will make your life easier during this process is if you can connect a keyboard and mouse to your Steam Deck. If you have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, that will do perfectly. All you need to do is pair them up with your Steam Deck. And that can be done by clicking on this button down here. And then you can go to add new device and you can begin pairing your keyboard and mouse to the Steam Deck. Alternatively, if you have a USB-C dock, plugging in a USB keyboard and mouse should also do the trick. Once you're in desktop mode, go to your web browser and then in the address, type in emudeck.com. Once you're here, go to download and then download the emudeck installer. And then once it's downloaded, go to the folder. We can close the web browser and then you need to drag this installer onto your desktop. Move here and we can close this folder. And now we just need to double click to initiate the installation and continue. And now we wait for Emudeck to download. And now you'll be presented with two pathways to install Emudeck. We have easy mode and we have custom mode. I'll be choosing custom mode. So click custom mode and go to continue. And here you can choose where you'd like to install Emudeck. I'll be selecting the SD card I inserted earlier and go to next. And the device I'll be installing on is the Steam Deck. And here you can select which emulators you'd like installed. Make sure they're white if you would like them installed and make sure they're gray if you don't want them installed. For this video, I'll only be selecting RetroArch and Yuzu. So I'll be graying out everything else. You'll notice I've left emulation station selected. This will be the user interface we'll be using to interact with all of our emulators. Now we'll go to continue. On this screen where it says emulation configurations, these are all of the Steam Deck optimized configurations for each emulator. Personally, I would recommend keeping these as many of these have been refined for the Steam Deck. Go to continue and now we can configure autosave. And this is relevant to the systems listed. So basically this means when you exit a game and reload it, the next time you'll pick up directly from where you left off from, which I think is incredibly useful. So I'll be setting this to on and going to continue. On this screen, you can enter your retro achievement credentials. Personally, I'm a big fan of retro achievements. If you'd like to know more on the topic, I have an entire video dedicated to this. And if you've successfully logged in, you'll see this screen. Note over here, the hardcore mode toggle. If you turn this on, save states and cheats will be disabled. So just bear that in mind. Go to continue. On this screen, you can enable and disable bezels, which are relevant to the systems. So bezels are the artwork that you'll see on the left and right hand side of the screen. Personally, I like to switch this off, so I'll go to continue. And now we can set the aspect ratios for each of our systems. My personal preference is to use the original aspect ratios where possible, but if you don't like the black borders on the side of the screens, you can adjust them by selecting another option. Continue. Continue. On this screen, you can choose an LCD shader for your handheld systems. I have an entire video dedicated to this topic if you'd like to learn more. And again, you can select some CRT shaders. I have an entire playlist on this particular topic, which I've linked in the description below. But because the Steam Deck screen is so small, I think it's kind of pointless using a CRT shader on it. And now we can select the Emulation Station Desktop Edition theme. This is basically the front end we'll be interacting with when we're using our emulators. So we have three to choose from. We have Epic Noir, RB Simple, and Modern. Modern looks very similar to the Nintendo Switch user interface. And to be honest, it's a great user interface for handheld devices. So that will be the one I'm going with. 
and here you get an overview of all the settings you've selected. But for now, I'm happy with this and I'll go to finish. And now we patiently wait. This process takes a long time. So now might be a good time to take your dog for a walk. And finally, after some time, the installation will be complete. And here you'll receive a summary of what's been installed successfully, denoted by the green ticks. Now the next step is to add some games. So click on add games. And now what you need to do is plug a USB stick into your Steam Deck. And then what Emu Deck will do is format that USB stick appropriately with all the relative ROM folders and BIOS folders. And then what you can do is take that USB stick, plug it into your computer, and then you can drag and drop your games into the relevant folder on that USB stick. And then you can plug that USB stick into your Steam Deck. And then Emu Deck will begin copying the games over to your Steam Deck. But for now, I'm just going to skip. And that's it. That's Emu Deck installed. Now every time you load up Emu Deck, this is the menu you'll be presented with. If in future you want to go through that game transfer process again, all you need to do is click add more games and you can follow the prompts on screen. If you want to reconfigure all the bezels and shaders and aspect ratio stuff we saw earlier, just click on configure and then you can see a high level overview of all the settings that you'd made and you can adjust them appropriately. So in my case, I only added a couple of emulators at the beginning of this process, but if you want to add more or remove some emulators, Emulators, go to manage emulators and update and then here you can install or uninstall whichever emulators you want something that you'll probably dip in and out of quite frequently is the steam ROM manager and this actually allows you to make your games visible on steam handheld mode so if you go to launch and then you'll see this pop up here and go to yes and then here you can toggle on and off what you want visible on the front end of your steam deck so what I prefer to do is switch everything off and then the only only thing I want on is emulation station and that's it that's all I want and then click on preview and then pass and then whatever you've selected will automatically download a thumbnail and then click on save to steam and then once you're done you can close this window now returning back to the emu deck options if you feel at any point that you've screwed up all of your emu deck options you can go to quick reset and you can reinstall emu deck from scratch there are loads of options here that you can tweak i'm not going to go through all of them feel free to have a little play around yourself now if you want to manually copy and paste a game into your emu deck installation this is how you can do it so close this window open up dolphin file manager and then on the left side, go down to your SD card and emulation. And this folder here, ROMs, if you open it, you'll see all of your systems. Technically, you can just copy and paste your game files here if you want to. So let's try one. Maybe let's go down to Final Burn Neo. And then you can just right click and paste your item here. So here's a Final Burn Neo ROM file that I copied earlier. And you can also do the same with the BIOS files. So here you can copy and paste uh, whichever BIOS files you want to use. Okay, now let's go back to gaming mode. And you can do that by opening this application here. Return to gaming mode. And once you're back in handheld mode, go to your library and go to non-Steam. And there we go, there's emulation station. And let's open it and play and here we go so as you can see we have final burn neo because that was the only folder where i'd copy the game to and there we have it that's the game i had just downloaded now currently you can see it doesn't look very pretty it's actually possible to have some artwork downloaded for it so what you can do is just press the start button on your steam deck go to scraper go down to scrape these systems and tick the system you want to scrape for and back and then go down to start and done. You can see a description's been added and a nice little video too. Now, if you've got thousands of games installed on your Steam Deck, be prepared for that scraping process to take forever. And now the final thing left to do is actually play the game and see if it works. And do that by pressing A and there we have it. You can see that Retro Achievements works immediately. Now, if you want to exit a game, all you need to do is keep hold of Start and Select at the same time. And then it will take you back to Emulation Station. Anyway, I hope this guide was helpful, and I hope you enjoy turning your Steam Deck into a retro gaming beast. 